My first big weekend winner of the weekend. How about it? The Ole Miss grandma, 84-year-old Mary Ann Wakefield. Look, Palmer, you getting the uh, get, getting the 8:15 or the 8 o'clock segment right there? I have the Twitter link right there. You can pull it up. But how about this? Mary Ann Wakefield at halftime, the Ole Miss game, had to sink a court-long putt to try to win a brand new car, and Mary Ann kills it. Knocks it straight through, wins a new car, crowd goes crazy, great vibe. Shout out to you, Marianne Wakefield, weekend winner. There it is. I mean, look at that thing. Can you imagine Grandma trying to put, game. put on a basketball court? I've seen somebody, somebody did it at Baylor recently, I think, but like, you know, it was like a young golf guy. And then weird Tony Land shark hugs her. Look at that reaction, though. You can't, I mean, you can't beat that. She is just taking it back. How hype was that crowd? Everybody, it's just good vibes. <laughs> like you can't, vibes. you can't help but on this Lundy Grove, maybe you're feeling a little unmotivated. You just need a little smile. Go look up Marianne Wakefield singing the 94 foot putt. I'm gonna read this whole thing, and then we can decide who the weekend winner is from the story. Okay. Um, but it looks like Johnny Manziel was out this weekend after golfing with his boys all day. So you know, probably throwing back some beers. Um, yeah. He started tweeting at the XFL about mm. giving him a chance to play. Mm. He said, Oliver Luck, if you want to boost your ratings to another level, just send me the contract tomorrow and we're in there. Like I said years ago, XFL 2020, give the people what they want. So a few hours later, mm. he deleted his whole account. But then the next day, brought his account back, tweeting, I have zero desire to play any football these days. I just love stirring up controversy. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I heard a winner in there. I mean, <laughs> I think we are the winner because Johnny Menzel. I do love some good given, drama. Yes, I love some Johnny Menzel drama. And I will say that I think the XFL are winners for actually maybe avoiding a bit of that circus. And 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 you know who else <laughs> are winners in the XFL? Ugh. The, uh, the Roughnecks, Lewis Battlehawks. The Roughnecks who are three and zero. Three and zero. Oh, Good 34-27 yeah. yeah, 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 win. Yeah, yeah. Now you did give up 27 to the Vipers and Aaron Murray. So Doesn't matter. Win is a win. That is red flag central. All I saw was a W. But the Battlehawks, even better at home. They are on the road. They had an 84-yard kick return for a touchdown. First in XFL history. Did you see the dome, though? I got a lot of links in there. You don't got to click on them all, Palmer. Okay, maybe just get a couple of them up there. But they had, uh, the <laughs> crowd was crazy. I did see that. That was pretty awesome. The whole city's tailgating. Remember, their owner, the Rams owner, Stan Kroenke, uh, who was so weird. When I was in St. Louis back today, undrafted free agent, whatever, right? Uh, we were literally told not to look Mr. Kroenke in the eye. That's what kind of a, I don't want to curse, that's just kind of a jerk he is. You were told not to look him in the eye, not to address him. Hmm. Well, he said St. Louis wasn't a football town when he left. Hmm. This is a football town. Look at this crowd. Whole lower ball sold out, 27,000 strong. Great atmosphere. Little girl had a sign that said, we'll trade a box of Thin Mints for an <laughs> XFL football. And sure Aww. enough, because it's a fun league, they Aww. traded it. She got an XFL football. The player's eating Thin Mints on I'm the in. sideline. I'm in on that. Super fun. And then, shout out, how about this? Kicker Taylor Russellino from the North Shore knocks in a 58-yarder. So, shout out to the Battle Hawks. Weekend winners. First game in St. Louis. Resounding success. Uh, my next weekend winner is Kawhi Leonard. Fun guy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Clifford star Kawhi Leonard. He's not your typical NBA star. He's quiet. He's not on social media. He doesn't have much of a personality. He's got a great laugh. And he wears his own jersey on vacation. Oh, wow. Which I think is actually no. <laughs> a good move. Like, I think it's kind of genius. So you, Nobody's going to expect right, you to be wearing they, they see you in this Kawhi Leonard jersey, and they're like, that guy kind of looks like Kawhi yeah, Leonard. Yeah, exactly. I'm not but then you think him. it's like, just a lookalike. Yes. Because you're like, oh, I mean, he wouldn't be wearing Whatever. his own jersey. Whatever. He's not oh, going to wear his own genius. jersey. Uh, yeah, so Kawhi Leonard for sure a weekend winner. So where was he? Do we know? I don't. Somewhere where was tropical. He He's jersey? like at the beach. Wow. Shout out to Kawhi. <laughs> uh, I think Irish Travelers were big winners this weekend. Yeah. Obviously, getting Tyson Fury over the top. Oh, that's that's what you got. I mean, that, yeah, that, Irish that, Travelers. Like, I'm cool, just saying, cool. look, look. He they they are a group. That when you talk about gypsies, have been you know, much maligned over the years. I don't want to. It's just it's it, it's a group that's been judged a lot in the past, and here they go. They now have the best fighter in the world. From their group. Shout out to the Irish Travelers. Okay. Um, my next weekend winner, Fan of Friends, the one where they got back together. So after more than 15 years of begging for reunions, 
Friends fans are finally having their day, their week, their month, and maybe even their year. The original cast is officially ending its break for a reunion special this spring. Warner Media confirmed Friday. So I guess the six oh. original cast members are coming back. They're going to reuni- reunite for an untitled, unscripted so far special on HBO Max. Two point so five be- million each. Yep. Ooh, what is Matthew Perry? So I actually doing? think they probably could have gotten more. Honestly, what is Matthew Perry doing nowadays? Just, I have no idea. I know he was like, he had a sketchy like rehab run, mm. but then he had a couple shows on NBC. I think that just never got picked up for second seasons. All right, well, you know, friends are back. The friends are back. Friends are back. Uh, my next weekend winner, me. It's a great weekend. <laughs> me. <laughs> and a fun weekend going to praise. But the main thing is the platform is out the garage. It is installed in the backyard. The playhouse is on top of it. Shout out to the boys and girls. We had 17 people it took to move it. It was unreal. <laughs> Rivers has the video on her Twitter. But uh, shout out to all the bros, all the dads who came over on Sunday to my daughter's birthday and helped me make my dreams a reality. It looks Platform's great. Good. The platform, I was very impressed with your craftsmanship. And it only took uh, six people to move. We probably could have moved it with <laughs> probably four. Probably four. Maybe three. I think three. the wood was wet when I'd originally weighed it. <laughs> and so that was Wet wood. It'll get you every time. Uh, <laughs> 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 do you have another winner? <laughs> I do. I have one no, more. No, I, I struggle with this. You know, my weekends are so packed that... I, I'm a weekend winner. I was going to yeah. say the same thing you did. What'd you, what'd you do Because I was going to say you were a weekend winner for getting that platform. We got it. We got it. It's help, money. It's, it's installed. Yeah. Um, uh, my, I have one more. My last okay. one, South Dakota women's basketball team. Um, so they were like warming up pregame before game. I don't even know who they were playing. But they got at half court like six girls. All six of them just back to back. Like they're shooting free throws. Yeah. Oh, Made wait. I saw this. The half court yes. shots. All six of them. So they only filmed five, but a sixth girl walked up right behind the fifth and, like, made one. Well, the best part is the last girl on the video to shoot says, like, oh, my God, this is so much pressure. And then, sure enough, just she, nails she it. just walks up and like, nails you know, it. You know I love a free throw, but, like, you know, if you can just nail half-court shots, I'm into that, too. I saw it on Rex. Uh, what's his name? Rex. Chapman? Yes. I saw it on Rex Chapman's Twitter. One of the great Twitter accounts out there. Just excellent videos the whole time. No, I'm just usually asking anyone heard from Jordy. Jordy we have might not, be a weekend winner. He has as not well. answered the group know. text at all. Who knows what Jordy ended up doing? Getting a Bacchus last night. Okay, here, here, here is my biggest winner of the weekend. And thank you, because I almost forgot this. And then Scott reminded me of downstairs, just bugged me. I was like, I know I have a winner here that I'm playing. But David Ayers, you heard about this guy? 42 year old Zamboni driver. Uh, so I guess in the NHL. I don't know exactly why this is, but at certain points, if you're Ross or whatever, they, they, a, a town will have an emergency backup goalie. Okay. So the Hurricanes were playing the Maple Leafs, and their two starting goalies went down. And so David Ayers, a 42-years-old Zamboni driver, was the emergency backup goalie. What? He gets Did put he know into that the before game. the game? Does he know that I mean, he's he like... suited up. He's wearing some local like <laughs> AHL, AHL pads. But like, I think the last time a backup got in was years ago. It's like it never happens, right? So he gets into the game. The coach is all salty and mad because he's like, oh, this is going to go terribly. Sure enough, the first two shots get in. First two shots, two goals. Right. After that. Can you imagine the pressure? Oh, it'd be terrible. After that, though, Ayer shuts it down. Carolina wins 6-3. So he records a win. He gets first star of the game, which in hockey they do three stars, two stars, first star. You get to parade around. You're celebrated. The scene in the locker room afterwards is incredible. Everybody's going oh, crazy for him. I love that him. guy. He's Rudy. All he gets to do, so he gets uh, he gets 500 bucks, <laughs> and he gets to keep the jersey. <laughs> Worth but, it. Worth but it. But in a great move by Carolina, um, they are, they've created his jersey because people are trying to sell it, right. buy it. So they bought it. They made a jersey. They made a jersey. All the sales from that. Or at least part part of them are going to go to him directly, and the, any profit or the other money is actually going to go to the kidney foundation because he stopped playing competitively originally because he had to give his mother a kidney who had kidney disease. Uh, yeah, so shout out. I would buy that to you. I'm going to find the link. I'm going to put it in the huddle. Maybe we David can give him some Ayers, support. unbelievable man, 42 year old Zamboni driver who now has. Wait, the guy is the emergency goalie win. for both teams. Okay, so that's how it works. So he actually works, that's right, because he actually works for the Maple Leafs. So this is like a truly like, oh, we just don't have enough, like the roster is how it works. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And, and it was really cool watching him in the locker room afterwards. The players, obviously, just going crazy for this guy, this 
lifelong driver. Yeah, yeah. He's the real weekend winner. Yeah. He's my first star. He is.